Hello, what's up YouTube, Ronnie Sweet and I'm sure and in this tutorial I'll show you how you can easily create your check layers in Photoshop. So what are check layers? Check layers are those kind of layers that help us to see flaws or imperfections in the images when we are doing skin retouching. So if at all you haven't hit the like button, make sure to make it a point and hit the like button on this video because it's going to open your eyes and it's going to help you in the near future and also when you hit the like button, YouTube recommends the video to so many people out there that are willing to learn from this very channel and learn about photoshop and photography in general so right now we are in photoshop and the image we are going to be using right now is taken by gmax studio and i'm going to put his link or the link to his youtube channel in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out he is also a content creator right here on youtube and he has the same content like i do on this channel so right now we have this very uh, nice image, but right now the reason that's why we create check layers is because we want to see those tiny imperfections in the image that we can't easily see right with our open eyes or that we can't easily see in the images. So right now I'm just going to come and I play my frequency separation action and I'm going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action right here. And he's going to run, and I'm going to use a radius of around. Let me just use a radius of around nine, and I'm going to hit continue. So this is not a frequency separation tutorial, but usually most of you tend to ask me about how to easily see those skin imperfections and how you can easily spot them out in the images that you'll be retouching. So in this case, I want to handle both frequency separation and those that use. Uh, macro or micro dodge and band to do skin retouching So right now this is the image that we have and I've created my frequency separation action I'm just going to delete that layer because it tends to confuse most of you out there So right now we are in Photoshop and this is the frequency separation action and I've already played it So right now we can't see the areas for example that us that use the mixer brush tool to blend or even out the skin tones in most of the images we tend not to see quite well the areas that have uneven skin tone transitions so for that case the very first check layer you have to use when you're doing the blending in the skin tones using a mixer brush tool is just simply coming to your frequency separation group and simply turning off the high frequency layer that is check layer number one for those that use frequency separation. So when you turn off the high frequency layer, you can see right now you see every area does, that has an even skin tone transitions. And you can see right here you have to mix there and right here you have to mix there. And after you have done that or after turning off the high frequency layer, make sure you, turn, you come back and turn on the low frequency layer because... Skin retouching is often done on the low frequency layer. So just come and get your mixer brush tool. So get the mixer brush tool and simply start evening out. But remember, in settings, I prefer to use clean brush, and this option is checked. Or selected the second one right here. Weight is 9%, load 75. Mix at 90 and the floor 100. Make sure sample oils is not checked, and now you have to come and simply start painting but uh, as using this check layer you are going to notice that the image turns out to look a little bit plastic yeah it is going to turn out looking plastic as you're working on it simply because you have turned off the layer that has information or the details in the image but when you turn it back on you can see you get back the information in the image so the very first check layer has been simply turning off the high frequency layer and you can mix the colors that look alike to create evenness within the skin tones of your images. So that is check layer number two. If at all you feel like this is not working good for you or you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions quite well, you can come and now click on the high frequency layer right here. And after you have selected it, remember in Photoshop, in order to create a layer on top of a given layer, make sure to select that layer on top of which you want to create the new layer. So select the high frequency layer right here 
and now come right to the adjustments and come to black and white so since we are dealing with skin tones and in order to see the unevenness within the skin tones just come to the red channel and click on this pointer and simply darken it right like that i hope you can see that and you can as well play around with the yellows and brighten it up slightly so when you darken and brighten up those areas you can see right now you can see every area that has an even skin tone transitions and you can use this as your check layer to blend the colors that have all that look alike in the images so and before or oh, as you create this black and white layer don't forget to come down here and select the low frequency layer because that is the layer on which you're going to be blending or evening out the skin tone transition so just come back and select it and you can come and using a mixer brush tool just come and blend those uneven areas and just mix them and harmonize the skin tones and that is going to be our check layer number two so in order to have the best results you need a check layer and after you're done retouching you can come to the black and white layer and delete it so if at all you want to see the progress from the image because you can't see it with the black and white layer selected just come and turn it off and you can see what this produces out of the image so check layer number three is going to contain both the very first technique and the black and white technique so in order to see the uneven skin tones even quite better you can come right here and you turn off turn create a black and white layer inside of your, your frequency passion group turn it on and make sure it is on right there and come back and also turn off the high frequency layer and right now you will see those uneven skin tone transitions even better in your photos but don't forget to come back and select the low frequency layer and use the mixer brush tool you have to blend or even out those areas that have uneven skin tone transitions and that is also going to be making the image a little bit look uh, plastic but remember the reason is you are working without the textures in the image so you can come to the nose area and also even out uh, those areas just like that and you'll see the image turning out look flawless and better and after doing all that come back and turn on the high frequency layer and you turn off the black and white to just see the progress uh, within the image and that is the advantage of check layers because they help us determine the areas we are not seeing quite well in the images and if at all you really use dodge and burn and also use frequency separation and you have a very hard time to spot out or look out for the blemishes in the images this is going to be for you and this is going to be our very fourth technique of using check layers in photoshop to spot out or look out for those uneven skin tone transitions so i'm just going to delete the black and white layer and right now i have my frequency separation group so if i told you use dodging and burning you can also use this technique i'm about to show you to create your dodge and burn layers on your images so you're just going to come to the black to the curves adjustment layers rather and make a midpoint and brighten that and remember brightening is going to be for dodging so just come and rename this to dodge and before renaming it you have to come and make sure the white mask is selected and hit ctrl command i on the keyboard to hide or invert that effect so i'm just going to come back to the curves adjustment layers and this time around make a midpoint right here and simply a darken right there and close that make sure the white layer mask is selected and hit ctrl or command i on the keyboard to hide or invert and we're going to name that to burn and we're going to put these two in a group and hit ctrl command g on the keyboard and we're going to name this dodge dodge and burn like that and simply hit enter and after that it is time to create the check layers for those that use uh, micro dodging and bind to do the skin retouching and those having issues to spot out the skin imperfections for example those very tiny blemishes in your photos so what we are going to do we are going to come right here to 
as the levels adjustment layers and create a level adjustment layer right in the image and after doing that we're going to come back to the adjustments and create a gradient map adjustment right there so depending on the color that you have you just have to come and click on this color and come to the basics and either choose as uh, this foreground to background or if at all she's not showing you under the basics you can either choose or you can also choose black and white and after doing that just come and hit ok and you have to reverse this and when you reverse it you can see it creates that kind of inverted kind of look and this is for those that use a dodging and burning to retouch remember when you're using micro dodging and burning you have to get a brush with a reasonable flow and the flow has to be as low as possible just make sure it is very low around one between one and three and how to use dodge and burn you just come and select the areas or the layer that you want to use for the dodging and burning so for this case you have to brighten the areas that are darker or bright areas that seem to be in a darker area and you have to darken the bright areas that seem to be in a bright area so that is how this helps you and this can be used as a check layer if at all you use frequency separation because when you come to removing blemishes you can easily identify the blemishes in the image quite well or better and let me just put this in a group by selecting all the layers so click on this shift and i'm going to click on this and hit ctrl command g and if at all you use frequency separation you can use this as a check layer to remove blemishes from the image so just come right here select and get your tool the tool you use for removing blemishes and you can come and start removing the blemishes because right now you can see them quite well or better and just get rid of every single blemish that you're looking at in your images so this is how to use check layers in photoshop and if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.